as the pelicosaurs evolved into the therapsids, which evolved into the cynodonts, a number of changes occurred in the mammalian vertebral column. First, the atlas axis complex formed as separate bony elements consolidated to form the atlas and the axis, and the dens component fused to the axis, which allowed the rotation of the head in mammals. The cervical ribs in the neck region were reduced and eventually fused to the cervical vertebrae. The intervertebral foramina became larger, probably allowing for larger nerves and greater muscle control, especially of the arms. Lumbar ribs were reduced and the vestiges of the lumbar ribs were later fused to the vertebrae. This allowed the diaphragm muscle to push down on the digestive organs during breathing, which allowed mammals to bring in more oxygen with each breath. Mammals limited the degree to which the vertebral column can perform lateral undulation or move side to side. So this changed how mammals move compared to that of reptiles. An additional sacral vertebra was added and the size of the tail was reduced. And so there were a number of changes in the mammalian vertebral column which occurred in the synapsid ancestors of the mammals.